Full Staff was a British-sounding rocket used during the 1970s as part of the Chevalin program to improve the penetrability of the Polaris nuclear missile. It was the largest UK rocket with a solid booster ever launched. Topic: <laughs> Polaris The full staff was part of the Chevalin program to improve the Polaris program. The Penetration Aids Carrier PAC was capable of maneuvering a full staff rocket and dispensing missiles. According to John Pitfield, the PAC was launched in 1969, 1975, 1976, and 1978. Since the Australian government at the time was not in favour of nuclear weapons, the testing of the full staff vehicles on Australian soil had the potential to cause embarrassment. The details of over 4,000 launches from the Woomera range are still not fully released. Before the revelation that the Fall Staff rockets were part of a nuclear program, anti nuclear campaigners in Australia had believed that testing ended in 1963. <laughs> Design The full staff with the Stonechat MK2 booster was 5.3 meters, 17 feet long and had a diameter of 92 centimeters, 36 in. It weighed 5.09 tons, 5.01 long tons, 5.61 short tons, of which 4.34 tons, 4.27 long tons, 4.78 short tons was solid propellant. It delivered an average thrust of 240 kilonewtons, 54,000 lbf during 37 seconds. A launch on the 1st of October 1969 used the Stonechat Mk1 booster. Topic: <laughs> Launches. <laughs> 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 The full staff was launched eight times between 1969 and 1979 at Woomera, Australia, seven of which were the MK2 variant. There was one failure, on 23 April 1978. All the launches were from the Woomera Test Range in Australia, 500 kilometres northwest of Adelaide. Topic: Commemoration. The full staff rocket was commemorated in an event cover that depicted a rocket recognizable as a full staff. The 5th of December 1978 was commemorated in such a way. 